What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over investments that you can be getting to make millions of stubs. Last roster update, we hit on about four good investments that could have made you an easy 250 to 400,000 stubs. Let's get into the breakdown. Thanks to my video sponsor, U4GM. They are offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with fast delivery. If you are interested, check the link in the description and check out more services. Use code FAT for 5% off. Thanks for your support. First off, we have Ranger Suarez, starting pitcher, left-handed, great pitch mix, sinker, four-seam, circle change. Make sure that you get him. He is 5-0 oh on the season. He's in the top two in ERA. And the boy has been playing lights out for the Phillies. Also, with the Phillies, we have a hitter, Alec Bohm. I gave you guys this guy a couple videos ago, and he's still very, very hot. Helping the team out on the offensive end. Suarez is helping the team out on the defensive end by shutting down opponents. Okay, right now, 750 stubs is very, very cheap. Being that he can go up to a 84 overall on the next roster update, that would be about a 600 stub profit on each and every investment. Ranger Suarez has a 1.32 ERA with a .63 whip. Alec Bohm has been lights out, betting over a 300 on the season, and he's been hitting over 1,000 OPS on the season. He has a couple home runs mixed in there, but it's more likely a contact boost that he will receive. Ryan Jeffers for the Twins. Not the best team, but he has been shining bright. As the catcher, he does have bronze hitting, bronze defense, but he has stepped it up. He's came alive over the past 10 games, betting over 300 over the past 10 games, and that's very good because that's going to help his overall stats. I can see him going up to an 80 overall over the next two roster updates. And what does that mean for you guys? Buying them cheap, that's going to be a stub profit. First two cards, I will get 25 to 30 of them. Make sure that you get the max profit. This card, I will get about 10 to 15 of them. Wait till he get up to a 78 overall. Make sure SDS is watching him. And then, you already have him. You can go ahead and sprinkle another 15 in so he can get up to that gold tier. Okay, now if he starts hitting more home runs, as you can see, Alec Boom is being purchased in the top right screen. Steven Quine is another sneaky investment. He plays outfield, but his lefty-lefty splits are so good that his lefty versus righty is going to help him get boosted up. I can see him becoming a diamond on the team. Way better than Ramirez this year. Somebody's going to have to be a diamond. Shane Bieber got injured. So I can see him going up a plus two. And then if he keep his consistency up, he will get another plus two in the next two roster updates. You can get him for 640 stubs, which is very cheap compared to he will go up to about 25, 2600 stubs over the next few roster updates. You're going to be looking at almost an 1800 stub profit on each one of these. If you have 50 of them or 100 of them, that's going to be a lot of stubs. And that's off of one card. All we need over the next couple videos is going to be more investments with higher tier players. Four good cards is going to bring you 350 to 500,000 stubs. Anybody can use 500,000 stubs. I know I can on my road to a million. Let's go.